you guys i am so excited i have a shein haul for you today it is these are the cutest pieces i think i've ever got from shein i hit the jackpot some of them were sent to me some other ones i just got so it's kind of like a mix of some things that sent to me some other things that i got because i was so excited from what they sent me i was like well, let me log on here and see what they have so i have some really really cute pieces these pieces i have on stay tuned like you're really gonna be shook like she is like becoming that girl she's that girl so i have some pieces for outfits oh i have to show you some shoes too i gotta show you some shoes and then also i have a few home things so stay tuned i do have a discount code for you guys um they're having so many sales going on so go in there see what they have girl you're gonna be shook it really really cute stuff let's hop right in okay so boom i absolutely love all of these looks this first look i felt like it was very corporate I feel like it is very much so like business casual almost. I know the skirt is a little bit short, but I just love that puffer coat. And then just pairing it with this very chic, almost like an oatmeal neutral turtleneck. You can do so much with it. I love this skirt. It has pockets. So let's start there. It's like quilted, but it has pockets and it's in a light tan beige tone. And I just have that paired with some gray tights right here. It's a very chic look. I feel like I had uh, silver jewelry on that day. I actually wore this to go to the museum. I just feel like it was such a chic look. Next, we have this pink uh, two-piece. I love this pink velour um, two-piece. Very, very cute. I feel like this is my, like, if I want to look cute, but I want to run errands. If I want to go to Target, a little Target action very very cute even to grab like a casual dinner maybe if you're going to buffalo wild wings or applebee's or somewhere very casual but you still want to look put together this is very very cute it's even giving me soccer mom like if you have kids if you're going to their games i feel like this would be appropriate it's not super tight i got a size medium i think in everything so it's not extremely tight i do wish or i guess i'm a little bit short but i wish the pants were a little bit shorter i feel like there's a lot of room maybe they're supposed to be high-waisted or something but i think that it just has like a little bit too much material around the crotch area but other than that again very very cute it's a little bit more of like a light pink like a barbie pink versus a hot pink as it appears on the picture and then next we have this this is my going out dress girl i'm trying to be dipping in zoan and i just love this number sorry if you see something underneath but um, just like the model, you actually need to get your own slip dress to wear underneath this dress because it is completely sheer. Um, of course, that's fine if you're going to be in the dark. But if you wear this in any sort of light or in the daytime, honey, it's going to reveal all of your secrets. But it is so darling. I love the graphic print. I even feel like it's short enough to wear it as a top, as you can see. I also can't get enough jumpsuits, you guys. If you follow me on Instagram, go follow me on Instagram. I have been wearing jumpsuits left and right. They're so easy. And I just feel like I needed a sleek black jumpsuit. It is creme de la creme as far as the material. It doesn't catch a lot of lint, a lot of um, like, you know, like dust on it. Sometimes black picks up everything, but this is very chic. And I just love to pair it with a little puffer. If I'm just running out again, Target runs, grocery shopping. I'm a huge fan of looking nice whenever you can. Like you don't have to wait for a special occasion to really get dolled up or even just look cute on the everyday and again just having this cropped uh little vest a puffer vest i feel like it's such a staple in my wardrobe in your wardrobe you can wear it with jeans wear it with just jeans and a tee you can wear it going to the gym or wear it very casual as i have it styled here i didn't show you guys any shoes with these outfits but of course you can wear sneakers with this look you can wear boots uggs if you have the UGG, min ugg minis with the chunky socks i feel like that would be ideal for this look but i really really love it if you want to dial it up a little bit with a little cute um purse and i actually got this one from amazon i got a bunch of little purses from amazon had that same purse styled here with this cropped white sweater 
love this one. I wish we would have got it in a size small though, because the arms are a little bit baggy and I feel like that throws it off. But I wore these pants on New Year's Eve and they look so good. There's a little bit of bunching in the crotch area, but the high knee makes up for it. It just looks so cute in the buttocks area. Doesn't feel like they're going to explode or anything when I sit down. I feel like there's enough to keep me in as far as like the structure. I don't feel like my fat rolls are spilling over and it's just such a chic look. I'm not a huge fan of brown, but I felt like I needed some vegan leather pants in black and in brown. And this is the brown. It has a button closure with a zip up fly. And it just actually, I feel like it holds you in. I kind of have some fupa situation going on, but I feel like it doesn't accentuate that area. And it actually, I feel like with the button fly, it conceals it. So I love this look together. I want to wear these pants a lot more before it gets hot because I feel like these vegan leather pants are gonna have me on fire in the summertime, but this is the perfect season when you're going out. I know a lot of people are getting clowned for saying every time girls go out now, they wear vegan leather pants, but they instantly upgrade the outfit, make you look so chic, make you look like you actually tried when you didn't really try at all. Side note, in this video, I know it looks like <laughs> I'm talking, and I am talking, but I'm talking on the phone while I'm filming this. So sorry if it throws you off if the audio that I'm doing this voiceover does not match my lips as they're moving in the video. Now, I have on the same pants, but I just switched it out for the actual top that I wore on New Year's. And this is like, oh my God, so magical, like a corset, almost like a bridal fairy tale sort of or off the shoulder um, imitation satin material. It is so divine. It's giving me princess vibes. And I love the juxtaposition of having this fairy tale, whimsical satin corset, very elegant, very womanly top with a little bit more of like the edgy vegan leather pants. So it's kind of like, you know, girly on top, but she's got some bite. She's got some edge on the bottom. And I just, again, love it with this snakeskin uh, purse that I got from Amazon. Snakeskin is a neutral, which I wanted to get some purses that are going to be neutrals. I can't stand cheetah. Cheetah's also a neutral, so I opted for snakeskin. And since we're kind of doing like Y2K fashion, early 2000s fashion, I remember snakeskin being so popular in the early 2000s. Snakeskin boots, snakeskin, even snakeskin vegan leather pants, girl. If you remember, comment below, let me know. All those things were so popular in the early 2000s, and that's when I felt like this look would really draw it all together, which it definitely has. As far as the shoes for this outfit, I definitely feel like some brown booties really set it off. When I actually wore this on New Year's Eve, I wore it with white booties. Girl, hush. You, you're, you're my other computer. Anyways... I wore these with white booties when I wore them for New Year's Eve, but I also picked these boots from Shein. They're so cute. And I know they look scary, like they would be hard to walk in. It's like Bratz vibes, but because they have the platform, they're actually a lot easier to walk in than you would think. My only complaint is that the calf is made, if you have thicker calves, it's made for you. I don't know how large, but it's not as tight around my calves as I would want them to be. And I feel like that would have just really solidified the look. And again, look, what do we have? This is like alligator skin. So I told you guys, snake skin, alligator skin, those sorts of things are going to be so in style. And of course, platforms are really in style. The Bratz looks, the bimbo looks, all of that. If you aren't into a platform... Sock boots, I thought they were out of style, but they are not, and they are so comfy. This is a smaller heel. It's a Cinderella heel, which is a glass heel. Looks a little bit more elegant. I love wearing these with jeans. They're really comfy again, and just jeans and a turtleneck. It looks so cute. This is almost like a camel burnt orange shade. This one and the other one in person, and I really like these. I call them witch boots. They have like a lace-up detail, but all of these, since they have like a thicker heel, they're easier to walk in and I'm not a fan of uncomfortable shoes at all when I was talking about vegan leather pants these are the black ones that I picked up and these actually they're not my favorite I have to be I have to be honest with you girl love the sweater very professional it's like a modern take on the cold shoulder a little bit more elegant it's it's nice for professional events where I still want to look a little bit dolled up or if I need to go on a work trip or something like that um, the purse is from Amazon, but these pants, girl, these pants are really throwing me off. I wanted them to look like how you see on this model right here, but I just feel like they're a little bit too short for my liking. Like, they're just too short, I have to be quite honest. They hit above the ankle, and I'm short, so I'm like, girl, 
if you're actually tall or even medium height, I don't know what these pants would do for you. But yeah, I'm not a fan. Maybe if I wear them with heels, but I wear them with flats and it looked atrocious. Here I have it paired with this another crop sweater. This is very similar to the white one that I showed you guys beforehand, but it has a little bit more of a crop to me. And I really like that the idea of having it like angled at the bottom for the hemline i think that it really makes the body look a lot slimmer and i love how it looks on my physique so i have this in white pink and i think i also picked it up in yellow i want to say i think so you won't see it in this haul but i just love 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 the material it actually feels very expensive feels like it came from express but i like the way it looks on top with these vegan leather pants they're very comfy i'll say that um, but the way they look at the bottom, they only look cute if you have on strappy black heels or some sort of heels, because the way they look with sneakers, it makes you look like a doofus girl, because how are you going to have on sneakers and then be flooding? If you guys are, you, if you are up there in age, you know what flooding means. It's when your shock, when your socks are showing with your shoes on and it looks hideous, especially when you have on this early 2000s going out to the club sort of an outfit very look very cute look supposed to be like you know spicy fun girly but with a little bit more but yeah not a fan of the bottom of those pants i also picked up i don't know if you guys know that she and has home stuff so i have picked up some packing cubes which i love it i actually ended up giving them to my sister but if you need some inexpensive packing cubes to get everything organized when you're traveling these are amazing. I think it comes with like maybe six in a set, maybe more. They have so many different assortments, but this is very affordable and I think that it is an essential. The last dress that I want to share with you guys is this orange one. Orange is my favorite color. At first I was apprehensive because I didn't want to show off my tattoos, girl, but it was calling my name. I love the cutouts. It is a sweater material. There are some gaps in there. So again, maybe wear like a little slip dress or maybe a little skirt underneath, but it is very, I feel like very sexy. I still have it on with that same purse. I told you guys think skin goes with everything, but in person, that color is a little bit brighter. It's getting washed out on film, but the orange of this dress is just to die for. It's very, very cute. Definitely will look cute with those camel sock boots or even with some black booties or even with some orange strappy heels, which is how I plan to wear it in the future. Just have an all out orange zesty cute look i love it very easy i love dresses it makes it so easy to get dressed it makes it so easy to look cute this is my going out to dinner look this <laughs> i would say it's uh, uh after work drinks look but not with the uh, size hanging out and the tattoos on display honey but yeah really really cute those are pretty much all my looks though you guys so let me know Comment below. Tell me what were your favorite pieces that I had. Again, I do have that discount code for you guys. If you want to pick up anything for yourself or your loved ones, treat yourself. Again, let me know what are your favorite picks. How do you feel about those black pants? Do they look as hideous as I feel like they look on me? Let me know. Do you feel like you can walk in those brown boots that are about seven inches? And I catch you guys in the next video. Peace.